Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Bruce Malaudzi and I'll be taking you through this video series configuring Apache Web Services. This is part one of eight uh, of the video. And in this part one of the video, I'll be installing Apache Web Services and I mean like the minimum uh, packages. But before we dive into uh, installing those packages, I would like to take a tour with you and show you how a web browser um, works and request resources from a web server. On my topology right here is a GNS3 topology uh, with uh, two Cisco switches and a Cisco router. Then I've got five Linux uh, boxes. On my right hand side over here where my mouse is hovering, I've got two Kali boxes, uh, Kali Linux boxes. They belong to the 172 network slash 24. On my left hand side where my mouse is hovering right now, I have three Red Dead Linux boxes. And this box over here, the IPA server, this is actually my central uh, server that is actually um, uh, uh, serving uh, mail, uh, uh, web services, TNS, DHCP, the list goes on and on. The main focus is on is not on this box our main focus is on these two boxes test one and test two test one will be configured from scratch we will install and configure apache services and then test two will be our client that will be requesting web resources uh, from test one at this moment i just have want to take a tour with you and show you how a web browser uh, works so on my test two machine, I can choose anyone which I, uh, any of this machine to request the web serv uh, services from this IPA server, which is pre-configured uh, as a web server. So let me, for example, use this machine here. So I right click and say console. First of all, what I need to do is uh, try to use the command line web browser that will be elix, but I need to install it. So I'll do yum install elix. I can also include curl, which is also another uh, text text user uh, browser. Okay, let me clear the screen and all I need to do is to visit the web uh, uh, server here and the web server is actually service, uh, serving on, on uh, uh, the URL is ipaserver.example.com so I can use uh, e-links use elix first then we will try using kel and then from there we will use a normal web browser uh, that is firefox so elix http ipacent.example.com okay, i just have to accept that so i have it page response from the uh, from the web server the page I think you can see from there it says rated enterprise Linux 7 test page this proves that your main web server is working so it's not that clear at the moment but you see it uh, when we get to the normal uh, web browser so I'll press Q to quit now let's try using Kel. Okay, 
I got a response as well and Kel actually breaks it down as you can see uh, the contents of the web page here are the contents and this is what I was reading to you earlier on Reddit Enterprise Linux 7 test page this proves that your main web server is working and then I've got a, an image as well right there so now let's quit from here and let's get to the normal web browser so I'll start Firefox now in this demonstration I was um, I will first use the HTTP uh, uh, protocol and the HTTP protocol you, uh, you, you uses port 80 by default and HTTP uses plain text as well which means HTTP is not secure if someone has to to eavesdrop to your traffic uh, capture your traffic and analyze it they particular attacker will be able to extract your valuable information such as your credentials your private information things like that so this is basically that's what happens when men in the Miku attack occurs secondly uh, HTTPS uses uh, default port 443 that is TCP as well uh, HTTPS it's actually HTTP using SSL or TLS. Uh, HTTPS use, uh, use encrypts the traffic. By that I mean that uh, the traffic is encrypted when transmitted from the web server to the client. So let's get back to our web browser. And as a matter of fact, uh, we will cover more on security especially when uh, in securing your your web server in the coming uh, videos but at this moment i just want to show you how http and https request resources from a web server so the first first i need to do is i'll use http as i type in http uh, double colon forward slash forward slash ipa server dot example So this is how the web page looks like on a normal web browser compared to what you saw um, using a, uh, a command line um, web browser. Now let's try to see how we can navigate using a secure uh, protocol that is HTTPS. Yeah, I am. The web browser is uh, the, uh, the web server responded and the web browser as a client is actually giving me a warning that oh this connection can uh, could not be trusted so what does that mean it means that this certificate which is configured on that server was self-signed and is not known by uh, by the common CAs so thereby we are getting a warning that this web uh, this certificate cannot be trusted but since we are in a virtual environment and we trust our certificate we can just add it to our uh, to the exceptions so i just have to scroll down and say understand the risk then scroll down again to add this exception then i confirm by clicking confirm security exception All is working well and here's my page as you can see uh, sonnet it that's my uh, institute now when you use https to get to a web page you are actually there's an icon here where my mouse is over it looks like a key lock icon if you click on that actually gives you information about the uh, certificate itself so as you can see it, it clearly says you are connected to example.com which is run by unknown I know it's because the certificate was not signed by the uh, common uh, or can I say by the CA uh, uh, 
uh, certificate authority so if i click under more information it will give me more information of the certificate such as uh, to which web server does it serve to who signed the certificate when was it created when does it expire things like that so now if i want more information i just have to click here uh, view certificate as you can see the certificate for example its common name is ita server at example.com uh, scroll down again uh, it shows me it was issued on the uh, 28th of april 2016 and it will expire on the 28th of april 2016 then i've got the fingerprint as well so at this moment i'll just have to uh, exit from here and then i'd like to show you how a real certificate uh, looks like from the public internet let me exit from here Okay, here I am on Firefox and I'll try to get to the internet. That will be HTTPS yeah, Google. Let's say Google.com. Okay, uh, Google has responded to the page and Google is actually the nearest server is Google.co.za is responded uh, 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 with the request so what I need to do now is to click on this icon and show you the, uh, the certificate information so I just have to click there right there more information and view certificate as you can see uh, google.co.za certificate um, was issued on 14 October 2016 and it will expire on 6 January 2017 these are the fingerprints and this is the serial number as well so now let's exit and get back to the uh, command line and install the packages here I am on the command line of the test one uh, uh, my apology let me exit from there before we get to the command line, let's go through uh, the objectives on what we need to do. So we have seen how a web browser works and requests resources from, from the web server. Now we need to create a we need to create a web browser and install one from start. Um, all I need to do is to install the the the, the, the package that is uh, httpd and then we have um, optional packages to install as well the httpd manual package help you help you to uh, to go through the manual for reference uh, in case you need help on how to configure the, uh, the apache uh, uh, server and then Earlier on, I showed you how to install and use uh, eLinks and Kel. These are optional as well. We might install them on your web server just for the purpose of testing. And then we, we also have uh, the command line uh, widget application that we will use to download um, uh, uh, download stuff from could be your internet or from the web uh, server itself. So let's get back to the terminal and all these configurations will be done on the test one uh, machine. So here I am on my JNS3 topology. I just have to start to console onto the test one machine. Okay, let me log in as root.
Okay, what I need now is just to install the packages that will be yep, installed. is running and by default Apache will be running using a default uh, page so we can test that by navigating uh, to the local host so the service is running so what we need to do right now is to go to the web browser This is the default page. Uh, what I need to do is HTTP localhost like that. And okay, you are you you will be greeted with this test page. And as you can see, it's running uh, Apache 2.4. So at this moment, it means your web web server is working. All you need to do is to uh, continue configuring by uh, using your custom web page or documents, whatever the case is. But at this moment, I just wanted to show you how to install uh, the, 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 the packages itself. In the next video, I'll show you how to configure the Apache web server uh, to, to save our custom web pages. So, and to summarize uh, this video, uh, I, I, I hope through and showed you how a web, uh, a web browser requests web services from a server using HTTP and HTTPS. I also briefly uh, distinguish between HTTP and HTTPS in terms of security, although I didn't dive deeper into uh, security. Uh, perspective and finally I showed you how to install the uh, Apache uh, uh, packages and we also installed the uh, the, 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 the optional uh, packages such as the manual e-links and curl uh, before we leave let me show you that the manual exists on that will be the local host and then I say manual. There we go. As you can see, this is the Apache manual and you can navigate the, through it and through the web browser. So I will see you in the next video and I would like to thank you for watching and I hope this was informative. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.